New York Yankees fans, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, let's talk about how the Yankees could possibly sweep the Red Sox. The Red Sox, if you ask me, are a lousy team, okay? They only have that record, I repeat it again, because they beat the teams that they were supposed to beat. Now, I'm not saying that the Red Sox don't deserve that record. They played good ball. They have two MVPs on their roster. But when the league is so weak, when the league was so weak that the Oakland Athletics won 97 games and they had a subpar team as well, in my opinion, a team that hit a whole bunch of home runs, the same could be said about the Red Sox. They beat up on teams because everywhere you looked, the league was weak. There was a whole bunch of teams that didn't perform to where, let's say, they were competitive. Maybe, I, I think in my opinion that the Tampa Bay Rays, if they made the playoffs, they could have went to the LCS in my opinion. The Rays obviously had a better team than the Indians and the Oakland A's. And if you ask me, they could have matched up well against the Yankees and the Red Sox. And let's not forget to mention the Astros. But here's why the Yankees are, in my opinion, there's a strong possibility in my opinion, that the Yankees are going to sweep the Red Sox because of many reasons. One being because, for one, the Red Sox have been rested for five days. Look at how the Atlanta Braves performed tonight. They got shut out. The same, in my opinion, is going to happen to the Red Sox. Second, Sale does not perform well in the second half, or you could say, arguably, come playoff time. He has only had a few starts, like one or two. Yeah, looking at his stats, it's two, and he has an ERA of over eight, okay? And let's not forget about our favorite little crybaby, David Price, who is a absolute choke artist when it comes to facing the Yankees. Do not expect huge games from J.D. Martinez and Mookie Betts. Look at the approach the Yankees took when facing the A's. They did not pitch to Davis. They did not pitch to, let's say, all of these players on the Oakland A's that could have easily hit like two run bombs. Obviously, Davis hit one, but it was too late in the game. But they approached these hitters like, hey, we're going to pitch you outside. If you want to chase it, chase it. And they did chase it. Do you know why? Because those players felt pressure to contribute to their teams because they have been carrying them all season long. The same could be said for Mookie Betts and J.D. Martinez. So folks, all of these players are going to go into these games paranoid. Sale, Price, Martinez, Betts, they're going to feel the pressure of, let's say, oh, I'm number one. I have the highest batting average. I have the most home runs. I have the most hits. I have the most runs. They're going to feel the pressure to duplicate that come high-pressured situations and the little stupid ballpark over there Fenway Park that's falling apart their crowd it's not going to be as loud as Yankee Stadium so right there home field advantage does not mean anything you know why because the Yankees faced the Red Sox to close out the season and if you ask me the Yankees manhandled the Red Sox let's say four out of those six games and I don't even want to say four out of these six games. I'll say five out of those six games because the Yankees almost swept the Red Sox when they faced them for that last series at Yankee Stadium. So, Yankees fans, here are my predictions. I think Chris Sale, his rubber band arm is going to fall off. The Yankees are absolutely going to tee off of him. Expect a good game from Voight, Stanton, etc., even Andor and Torres. And let's not forget to mention the captain, the real captain of the Newark Yankees, Aaron Judge. Folks, the Yankees have the best team in Major League Baseball. Once they added McCutcheon, McCutcheon has the best eye. He has a better eye than Superman. That guy has laser precision when it comes to tracking a ball, if it's going to be a ball or a strike. I mean, that was an excellent pickup. And Yankees fans out there were saying the Yankees don't need another bat. What were you smoking, guys? This guy was a major pickup. Having him as your leadoff hitter, that is easy peasy. Expect the Red Sox to at least win one game. But like I said, the Yankees, there's a strong possibility that the Yankees are going to sweep the Boston Red Sox. 
The Boston Red Sox are not the 1998 Yankees. No way. Not even close. Like I said, the league was so weak. The Red Sox team does not impress me. I oversell the Red Sox. You saw on this channel, I made it a point to put the target behind the Red Sox back. And now they have it. They're going to feel all the pressure now because everybody in baseball, everybody around the world is saying, oh, the Red Sox are the 1998 Yankees. Look at that record. And I'm not saying that I started it. I'm just saying in the beginning of the season, I overselled the Red Sox. Okay. So like I said, if you ask me, the Yankees are flying under the radar. Under, absolutely under the radar. They have a great chance to sweep the Boston Red Sox. And hey, they're going to have some sweet revenge against the Houston Astros if, if the Cleveland Indians don't come out of nowhere and just hand it to them. But in my opinion, they're not. Okay, The Indians have a lousy team. The Tampa Bay Rays, in my opinion, were better than the A's and the Indians. But like I said, the Yankees with the team they have now are World Series champions. No way they're not. The Yankees have great personalities on their team as I speak. They have a great bullpen. They have a great lineup. And trust me when I tell you this, folks, the Yankees want the Red Sox. Yankees fans want the Red Sox. All of the momentum the Yankees are carrying. I don't want to hear about how the Red Sox are going to beat the Yankees because they're not. Okay, The Yankees are the best team in baseball. The Red Sox... In my opinion, they're maybe top five. I'll rank them four in all the baseball, okay? The Yankees being number one and the Houston Astros being number two. All of these other teams, the Dodgers suck. Uh, the only real legit team next to the Yankees and Astros are the Milwaukee Brewers, okay? So, Yankees fans, there goes my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the Yankees have a strong possibility of sweeping the Red Sox? Do you think the Yankees go 3-2, and 3-1, and 3-0? and Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And because this channel runs ad-free, makes absolutely zero money, make sure you visit our new sponsor at PartyKana.com. Like always, Yankees fans, I will check you out next time. Visit PartyKana.com. Visit them for the best information on after parties in Punta Cana overall, it's going to be a great experience. Check it out.